All right, Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and Shalom, salute to the hopefully elect. Now, I came across this video. Um, I was, um, today I was at, uh, doing some, at my training, um, at training uh, school, and, uh, my fellow, uh, uh, how you call it, classmate or whatever, uh, he was telling me about a video about how um, he, he got family out in Vegas. And so he was saying that um, the reason why I pulled this up is because he had mentioned it. And um, he's a Jake from, from Cuba, I believe, but um, he got family out there, but he mentioned it. So I pulled it up and um, there it is. I mean, us in Great Millstone, us in the truth, we already know uh, about the so-called UFOs because they're really uh, IFOs because they are identified. And we know that they are the chariots of the Heavenly Father and uh, his son. The, char the chariots, uh, um, they're known as the chariots of Israel uh, or uh Yahweh, and, and, and those are the vehicles that Yahweh Shah is coming back uh, for vengeance in, you know? But uh, this is a, a video. Uh, the title says, 100% they're not human. Witness details alleged alien encounter in Las Vegas. And um, we already know how Esau and these devils try to cover up the truth. First of all, um, you know, going dating all the way back to when we was first uh, destroyed and um, taken down. And ever since then, they, uh, ever since they came in power, they've been uh, spreading lies throughout the four corners of the earth. And um, so this is just another uh, topic that they lie about. You know, I don't know how true this is, uh, but word is getting around that this is an actual event, you know, and I, I'm going to go ahead and play the video. And I'm surprised the news, because uh, we know about the chariots. You know, I myself have personally seen um, Sightings, uh, uh, the chariots, the Heavenly Father, the Most High, or the chariots of Israel. Other brothers in the camps, starting with the elders and apostles on down, have seen chariots, you know? So we know what they are. We know that the holy angels... Uh, are in them, you know, and we got the information from our elders and apostles, you know, so it's, it's the spirit going around, the spirit of truth, and the Heavenly Father is opening up this uh, rabbit hole, you know, because back then we didn't, you know, as, uh, as far as Jake in general, you know, we always know that the spirit of the truth was always out, always out there, you know, dating all the way back to when we was in captivity, Hardcore captivity, I would say, because we're still in this hell. We're still in captivity, but it's just more of a mind thing now, you know? So, without further ado, I'll go ahead and play the video, and it's about what you would call UFOs, all right? Just take the, uh, how you say it, uh, take the meat and spit the bones out, you know? Take the meat and spit the bones out, and what Esau will do he would try to flip it. Oh, they uh, they were big green aliens and, you know, some bugged out stuff. When we know the Heavenly Father and his angels are black men, so-called black men. You know, Yahweh Shah, when he was on the earth, he was a so-called black man. Now, when he comes comes back, he he's not coming back as a man. As the scripture would say, he, he's coming back as an angelic force. And, um... Even brothers saw visions, you know, and, and um, some brothers in my camp has seen visions or had uh, dreams, you know, of, of the second coming or of the of visions of the Lord, you know, and they said he was he was fierce, you know, he was fierce like he it, it, once you once he come back, there's no there's no turning 
he's not turning. Hey, if vengeance is set, if you set to be destroyed, you're going to be destroyed. That's why uh, we are uh, begging the Lord for mercy right now. See, uh, one thing we can say about us in the truth, we got an advantage. You know, we're trying to serve the Lord to the best of our abilities. So right now we're uh, practicing the law, statutes and commandments to the best of our abilities. And we're praying and we're begging for mercy from the Lord, you know, because we know we went off. We know we sinned in our past lives and so on and so on. And some of us are the actual prophets back then, you know. If you're doing the truth and you're doing everything you're supposed to do in this life, then most likely you were one of those uh, prophets back then. And all the prophets weren't spoke about in the scriptures. It was more. Pro it was a, a lot of prophets, actually. And every generation, they came back, you know. So uh, let's go ahead. Play the video. Southern Nevada is abuzz tonight with stories about the crash of an unknown object and the alleged sighting of strange creatures in the backyard of a Northwest Valley home. So it was last night that 8 News Now investigator David Charns reported about how Metro Police responded back on May 1st after receiving a strange call from a very frightened family. Well, our report generated a global response and now piecing together the sequence of events has been kind of tricky in part because the primary witnesses have been almost as elusive as the beings they say they encountered. Chief Investigator George Knapp is as perplexed as the rest of us, George. As you know, this... And uh, Esau, they know how the chariots look. That's a, a good depiction of how the chari of how the, uh, some of the chariots look, you know? I mean, I myself, personally, this is, a, um, I could say, sort of a, a testimony. That's... Ill, Ill, the, what you see on the screen is almost how I saw when I saw the chariot when I looked up. It almost it looked just like that. You know, you can see all, almost in deep in exact detail all the way down to the windows. You know, the, it had windows on the chariots. The only thing um, I would say different is uh, it was spinning like it, it was spinning in like a circular motion, like a uh, like a wheel. Like a wheel would spin. It was just spinning in, in a circular motion. Then it disappeared. Like it just cloaked out. Like, and then it reappeared. And then it, when it cloaked out, it like disappeared. And then it reappeared. And then it stayed for, uh, I would say, a good minute. You know, a good minute. Then it, then it, it cloaked out. And I ain't see it no more. But. That's the power that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh shot. It's not our first UFO rodeo. We first heard about the incident in early May via the Metro Police grapevine. The incident has a lot in common with other bizarre cases from around the world. An alleged crash, strange beings, and bits and pieces that don't make sense. But the police took this seriously, and so do we. Just before midnight on April 30th, sky watchers across several western states saw a bright fireball streak through the heavens. A police officer working in the Northwest Valley caught a glimpse of the colorful object on his body cam. At nearly the same time, a ring camera in the area recorded a strange noise and what sounds like a crash. One family living in a ranch-style home had a much closer view of the object. Two brothers and their father were working on a vehicle in their yard when they caught a glimpse of a sparkly object as it came crashing down, then were hit by what they describe as a shockwave. One of the witnesses, a young man named Angel, has stated when the brothers looked into the yard where the object landed, that spot was obscured and blurry, as if by unknown form of camouflage. What they saw next prompted a frantic call to 911. So there's two people or two subjects that are in your backyard? Correct, and they're very large. They're okay. like eight foot. Nine feet, ten foot, I don't know. They're, they, look like, they look like aliens to us. Big eyes, they have big eyes, okay. like, like I can't explain it. And big mouth. They're shiny eyes, and, and they're not human. They're 100% they're not human. 
Eight News Now investigators have spoken with family members multiple times in the past four weeks, but each of the three times we accepted their invitation to do an interview, they didn't answer the door or their phone. These are some of the claims they've made in other public forums. Multiple family members backed up the story in an initial police report we obtained. Angel says they heard the patter of multiple feet in the yard. They later heard footsteps on their roof. They saw one of the eight-foot-tall creatures climb behind the controls of a large front loader stored in the yard as if trying to engage it. He got a good look at one of the creatures, he said, a greenish-grayish being with large eyes and long legs. He says he could hear its deep breaths, and when he locked eyes, he was, in essence, frozen in place, couldn't move. All right, see, that's the, uh, now, the Heavenly Father, he could do what he want. You know, he could make something uh, appear to someone else as as he pleased, you know, but the the angels are are black men you know now it's all it's all um types of creatures and spirits out there that the heavenly father uh created so they may have they may have have just saw uh something like that you know i know um the elder in my camp you know we always you know talk about uh you know we go into certain th um you know things like the spirit world and all that and and Hey, when he was when he was young, you know, he uh, he witnessed a lot of things, you know, he witnessed a lot of things and he saw actual uh, creatures, you know, in that spirit world. You know, I know Apostle Hall made a video, uh, beautiful video the other day about he said if we we're, we're Israelites, you know, we shouldn't because Esau is afraid, afraid to death of that uh, that spirit world, you know. Because he don't know nothing about it, you know. But we're Israelites. We're we're sons of the living power, you know, that control all. Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah control the spirit world. And we work for him, you know. We work for Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, you know. But yeah, the Heavenly Father, uh, uh, let's, better fact, let's get it. Uh, when I say I had created... Uh, spirit, certain spirits for vengeance. Hold on, let's go to it. All right, this is Ecclesiasticus and Apocrypha, chapter 39 and verse 28. It says, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay sore strokes in the time of destruction. They pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. See? So they follow the Heavenly Father. And uh, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, uh, they follow their orders. Now, like Apostle Charles said, we shouldn't be afraid of, uh, you know. Now, of course, we, we fear the Lord, yes, but we shouldn't be too much afraid because we know what it is, you know. And I, I say that uh, humbly speaking, you know, because I'm going to get the scripture. Hold on. I won't wait. Go ahead. Went to the apocrypha. It says Second Timothy one and seven. It says, "For Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound and mind." Right. So of course we fear the Lord, but certain things we're the 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 Lord ain't give us the spirit of fear. Now, the two thirds and all the enemies of. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, like the other nations, they're going, they, they got, they're going to have a spirit of fear when the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shah uh, un, unleash the, that uh, wrath on, on their ass, you know? But let's get back to the video. Because, you know, you got to take, eat the meat, eat the meat and spit out the bones. You got to take what you could take out of videos like this because we don't know how true it is, but we know certain things that happens, happens. And Esau tries to cover it up by adding on, you know, like a like we just clearly saw the picture of the cop took, right? And that probably, most likely that probably was a cherry, a fireball shooting through the sky, you know? So take the, eat the meat and spit out the bones, you know? 
Um, let's go back to the video and then we're going to, because I'm not going to make this too long. All right, there we go. We're back on the video. Here it is. Frozen in place. Couldn't move. In the middle of the yard where the object had crashed, then van. Let's go back. Breaths. And when he locked. He got a good look at one of the creatures, he said, a greenish grayish being with large eyes and long legs. He says he could hear its deep breaths. And when he locked eyes, he was, in essence, frozen in place, couldn't move. In the middle of the yard where the object had crashed, then vanished, a circular impression was left in the soil. Okay, where is this on your property? Metro sources say the police dispatcher initially wondered whether to send a crisis intervention team to help the troubled witness, but then took the incident seriously. Two officers arrived 38 minutes after the call, and by then it heard from other officers. They proceeded cautiously and managed some nervous laughs. I ain't dealing with that. <laughs> a few days later, the family says, two Metro sergeants returned to the scene to ask follow-up questions. The family says they also saw men in suits and sunglasses driving in a car with government plates cruising slowly past the house in the following days. Nellis and Creech have denied any interest or involvement with the incident. Metro has indicated they believe the family that something crashed in their yard. But what? You mentioned All right, so there you go. And we're going to hear more and more stories like this as we get near near to these days, you know, because, hey, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, the Lord is sending his son back, you know, and he's coming back in those chariots. So the whole sky is going to be filled with uh, the chariots of the Lord. All right. So, yeah, um, before before I close this down, let's get one more scripture. All right, this is Psalm 68 and 17. And it says, The chariots of the Lord are 20,000, even thousands of angels, and the Lord among them, as in Sinai in the holy place. So, there's a lot of chariots out there that the heavenly, that when Yahweh shall come back, they're going to be with him. You know? It's going to be a lot of chariots, a lot of sightings, you know? Uh, so I hope this was edifying to the body. Giving all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakodas. Till again, Shalom.